Ooh. Rather rainy. Well, that plan shot. So let's talk about some accessories that you can use for astrophotography. We all know we need a camera, mount, telescope, lens, computer, ASI Air, control software, all of those big things for astrophotography. But what about the little things that might actually help you out? The small accessories. In this video, I'm going over my top seven picks for accessories that can help you out with astrophotography, and I'll list a few extra daytime uses for these objects, just in case you're interested. And as a bonus, everything in this list is under $55, since astrophotography is a very expensive hobby. And before we continue, all prices for this video are in US dollars at the time of recording in October 2021. But let's get into it. So the first thing I will recommend, and pretty much every astronomer and astrophotographer will recommend is a headlamp with a red mode. And when it comes to astronomy and astrophotography, a headlamp with a red mode or just a flashlight, really, any light you produce with red mode is a must. Going with one that has both red and white modes is very helpful if you do anything like camping or if you do any work in your backyard at night, but you're not specifically doing anything astronomy related. And the one I recommend that I have used for years is the Black Diamond Spot. This headlamp is great. Now I just recently replaced it and that's purely because I burned the bulbs out. I've used it that much. And the old one had one switch on it that would switch between the modes and the power but the new one actually has a separate button for cycling through the modes and this is excellent because you won't accidentally turn on the white light when you're just turning it on and off another great thing about the black diamond spot is that it has a locking mode so that way when you're traveling to and from a dark sky spot you can lock it and have fresh batteries in it and it won't turn on accidentally in your bag and the great thing about this is that it comes in at around $40 Hi there, my name's Dalen here at Astro Escape. We go over all things astrophotography, starting from the very beginner level and working our way up from there, all to help you escape the day to day and image the night. If you're new here, if you like what you see as you're watching this video, please do consider giving this one a like. Now, while we take advantage of this rainy night, we're gonna continue talking about accessories. So let's move into the second one, and that is a chair. Do you really wanna be standing all night, really? Do you want to stand all night? I don't think you do. So you're going to want a chair that's portable, especially one that you can toss in your car and use for other things. Now I've used Ozark trail chairs for about six years now, and yes, they are the cheap Walmart chairs, but let me tell you what, as long as you take proper care of them, they last a long time. I've used mine mainly for camping. That's what I bought it for initially, but I've also used it at multiple star parties. I've used it on pretty much every camping trip since I bought it till now. I've used it at daytime events. I've taken it with me to just multiple places and used it multiple times and I probably got more than 100 uses out of it and that thing is still kicking. It is a great chair. For 25 bucks for two of them, you really can't beat the price. All right, so this next one will make the chair just a little bit more comfortable to sit in during cooler months and that is a pad that reflects heat and keeps your bum warm and it just helps keep you comfortable a little bit longer under those long chilly nights under the stars. Other than astrophotography, this thing is useful for sporting events, say here in America, high school football games, those bleachers get kind of cold and especially if it gets a little bit wet, it gets kind of uncomfortable to sit on them. So you can just take this pad, set it on the bleachers and then sit down and you'll stay nice and dry and warm. Now the one that I am linking is the Thermarest one from REI, but do beware that if you go to Amazon and look for anything similar, you want to look for something that has what's called the R value in the description. The R value is the rating that it's given that helps reflect heat. If it doesn't have the R value, that means it's just a piece of foam made to look like the Z seat that I'm linking, but it won't actually reflect heat. It might keep you dry, but it won't keep you warm. And the one that I am linking from REI comes in at about $15. Now that you're comfortable sitting in a warm chair, but you didn't bring a visual telescope and you're waiting for your images to finish, what do you do? Bust out some binoculars. Now while you could go for the expensive Celestron binoculars, you don't really have to. Keeping a cheap pair in your car is actually great for just this purpose. That way you have something at all times to look at anything in the sky no matter where you are. I've used these Glandu 10x50 binoculars for the past year and they're great for looking at things like Andromeda, the Pleiades, the moon, and other large objects just like that. And when not in use, they live in the trunk of my car and my thought behind that is first they're cheap. So if something happens to them, say a piece of gear slides into it, if I have to stop real quick, you know, for a deer or whatever in the road, then I'm not gonna be too mad that they got broken. But 
they have gotten a lot of use. I've used them on pretty much every camping trip whenever it's clear out. And I've gotten quite a bit of use just on day hikes, you know, at the areas that we end up camping in. And you can't beat the price for about $30. Moving into something different that is actually pretty helpful and that is gaffer tape. Sometimes you just need to tape something up while you're out there. And gaffer tape is a great accessory to have with you. It has all of the strength of duct tape, but it doesn't leave the nasty residue. So some uses for gaffer tape are you can use it to lock camera lenses that don't have a lock built into it and you can use it for fastening your cables to the tripod legs and the last thing that you can use it for for astrophotography is to cover up lights say the power light on the mount or little LCD screens for your power supplies for daytime uses you can use it for stuff like musical gear which is one of the main uses worldwide you can use it for fastening cables to your desk if velcro isn't going to cut it and you can use it to help keep that pesky TV remote control battery compartment shut that loves to keep opening. A roll of one inch wide, 60 yard long tape comes in at just under $18. Before I get to the last two, I do have a question for you. What accessories do you take with you that are not on this list? Let me know down in the comments below. Quite a bit of the gear we use is designed to use AA and AAA standard batteries. Now you don't want to really go with disposable batteries because you're going to go through a ton of them and it's going to cost a lot of money. So you're going to want to go with rechargeable batteries. After years of using them camping and for astrophotography, I recommend the Panasonic Eneloop batteries. All right, so these batteries hold a charge for a long time. And with the kit that I'm recommending, these batteries charge up from completely empty to full in about seven hours. Now, I don't think I really have to list all of the extra daytime uses for standard batteries that are rechargeable, but when you buy this kit, you'll just have plenty to work with for things like your remote or your intervalometer or a timer that you might have for your kitchen. The possibilities are endless with these batteries. Now the kit that I am recommending comes in at about $53. I will recommend picking up an extra pack of just AAA batteries, but this kit that I'm recommending, it comes with eight AA's and four AAA's and little adapters so you can actually make it into a D size or a C size battery if you need it for something for say a camping lantern which we've used it for and it works out quite well. But like I said, grab an extra pack of AAAs and this will keep you out imaging for a full night with that little portable setup. Moving into our last object, if you have USB dew straps for the Skywatcher Star Adventure portable setup, you're gonna need a way to power that dew heater. And my recommendation is the Anchor 20,000 milliamp power bank. I've used this thing on many camping trips and hiking trips and man, this thing packs a punch with how much power it has. And when it comes to astrophotography, I've powered my dew straps all night with room to spare with this specific battery. For those of you that live in areas where dew is less of a problem and you're just going out for a short session and you're not too worried about the dew, this thing will run the Skywatcher Star Adventure with no issues. However, I would not recommend running both the Skywatcher Star Adventure and the dew strap with this battery. You'll drain it pretty quickly. When it comes to other uses for this battery, it's charged my phone from dead to full eight times and had just a little bit of room to spare. And it's also great for charging tablets and other small electronic devices that are USB based. And if you really need to, you can do two devices at the same time, which is a great feature of this battery. And for those of you wondering the price, this battery does come in at around 51 US dollars. All in all, all of these accessories I've used multiple times on my imaging sessions and I definitely recommend at least checking them out, you know, giving them a shot. They'll help you out in your sessions and just help keep things running nice and smooth so that you can produce some great images and then turn around and help you out a little bit during the day. If you found this video helpful, please do like, comment, and then maybe consider subscribing. I wanna thank you for watching. Clear skies.